a story to tell you. A story of how a ragtag bunch of peasants banded together to save our castle from attack. Now, some may say our story is a myth, a fable, a falsehood. But I say to you, the story you are all about to see is a legend. My friends, I give you all the legend of the Tribuchet! Now for those of us who lived and worked in the castle, on this day, June 1470, start off well as just a normal day. But folks going about their business as usual. See, look over there. That's Thomas. He's one of our local farmers. Greetings, Thomas! <laughs> and over there is Claire. Claire is one of our castle cooks. Great, Claire! Oh, I can't stop, Sam. I need turnips. Oh, and over there is Mel. Mel is also a farmer, but not like Thomas. Mel is a young farmer, and they look after the castle <laughs> toilets. Oh, where's his mouth? Shem, I'm not Schmidt Bucket. Are you Shem Schmidt Bucket? Is this you, Bucket? Yes, yes, yes. I'm not giving it away from my turnips. Sure, Oh, and over there are the magnificent minstrels. They like to come down with them to practice. <laughs> So, as I said, it was just a normal day. Until this happened. Come in, fire! Are we there, sir? Well, we can't be. We are. It's the Yorkies. We're batting on the field. I should tell you, we're in the middle of a civil war. Everyone's fighting for the throne of England. How can I say your king? They're flying the sun in splendor. Edward's banner. They're going to attack the castle. That's how. He's a great moment. Your king! We're in trouble! What are we going to do? Well, cool sent a message to the Earl. But by the time the Earl gets here, well, the Yorkies will be in the castle. What are we going to do? Run away! No, we could have run away. But I had an idea. I! We need to keep the Yorkies at bay until the Earl and our soldiers get back. How? We're going to release the bear. But we haven't got a bear. There's the bear. That's right, I'm talking about Ursa. Ursa, the lad for bear, will shoot Ursa. Shoot Ursa? But how are you going to do that? No, how are we going to do that? <laughs> we, we're the servants, we can't shoot a trebuchet. My grandfather helped build her and taught me how to shoot her. But they were built for attacking castles, not defending them. <gasps> well, I mean, well, Clem is right, but Grandfather told me that the sight of a trebuchet will always strike fear in the enemy's heart. And not just because of her shooting power, but look, because of her size. I mean, look at her. She's huge. She stands at 60 feet tall and weighs over 22 tons. Listen, if we shoot her, it will give us a chance to keep the Yorkies at bay until the Earl of our soldiers return. Now, are you all with me? Aye! I need all of you. Over the years, CG 
these engines have gotten bigger because castles have gotten bigger. It can take months or years to beat a castle. But if you were trebuchet shooting massive rocks, you have a good chance of smashing down the walls. Anyone defending a castle that sees a siege engine the size of Mercer will lose heart and more like surrender. That is the power of the trebuchet. Oh, Cannons have become the new siege engines. They can shoot and move quicker than a trebuchet. They've only got the one cannon. But it's a big one. If anyone can talk to our defences, trust me, it's Harold. Ma'am. Yeah? I need you. Yeah. I need you to be strong. Yeah. You're fearless. Oh, I'm fearless. You're fearless. Oh, I'm fearless. Oh. And Claire, you, you're... Oh, great. Listen, you two, those Yorkies, they've got spies out there. And I want those spies to see that we, the cast, first line of defense, we are fearless. What are we? Swap the cannon. 
Before we can shoot her, we have to hear Thomas say the words, trebuchet, live. Let's listen. Trebuchet, live! Right. The time has come to destroy that cannon and save our castle. Are you all ready to shoot? Answer! You've been a part of that legend. The legend of the legend! 